Hey, Gemini, welcome to Wild Pearl Tarot. Welcome to the treehouse today. The sun is still rising up over the trees and it's going to be a gorgeous one, I can tell. All right, today is a timeless message. Whenever you get this, that's when you're supposed to receive it, even if it's years from now. And the intention is to empower you. It's, it's, it is there to guide you. And if it doesn't do that, don't take it. That's okay. Let's go right into it, you guys. What does Gemini need to know? If you'd like for me to pray for you, send you my good energy, say hi in the comment section, even if it's just an emoji. That's my personal spiritual practice. And um, it gives me something to focus on if you say hi in the comment section. Okay, we have... Okay, this is a very clear message coming through about, I need to, I need to get a little bit more, okay. So there's somebody, some, some of you guys have an earth sign in your life. It doesn't have to be an earth sign, but it could be a Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus. Um, if, if they aren't an earth sign, this is just somebody who is, uh, their stability is very huge to them, their job, their stability, finances. They're down to earth, kind of salt of the earth type of person. There could feel like there's some breadcrumbing going on or there is some um, inactivity. It could feel that like maybe it's in, imbalanced. This is Queen of Wands. We have a very, another individual who is very independent and they know how to make themselves happy. They know how to, they probably have a good job or something that speaks to them that they are, they're proud of. Um, they know how to take good care of themselves. It makes them very happy to take good care of themselves. They're kind of living their best life. This could be a fire sign, a Leo, um, an Aries or Sagittarius. Doesn't have to be. This card is acting funny on my fingers and that's why it's three of swords. So there is a, somehow a heartbreak attached or a third party situation going on to this. And then in the middle of your reading, we've got the fool card and that talks about a brand new start, brand new back to, to um, zero and in, in a good way, a positive way. But then um, let's get some clarity on the fool though. Yeah, it's very positive, um, but it's attached to deception. So the new start is the positive thing. It's There's actually a quite a bit of success that is attached to this new start, but what inspired what inspired it, I think, was deception. What, what is this deception card? Yeah, okay. You were deceived into thinking that there was like a beautiful relationship here, a possibility for love and a long-term happiness. Okay, got it. Thanks, Tarot. Let's talk about these next two cards. Chariot card in reverse, the Eight of Wands in reverse, things have come to a stop. They feel like you're trying to make sense of them. It's in partnership with an individual. It's talking about a partnership with somebody that I think you saw potential in. There is going to be communication and it's going to feel urgent. It's going to come out of this stalled place. Um, it feels like if progress is stopped. Um, and so somebody's going to take that bold action of just communicating instead of just sitting there and wondering what the hell's going on because it's not like, it's like you got to work together. This came out in reverse. So, um, you kind of want, don't want to sit there and be curious. And so then we've got the eight of wands talks about in reverse, talks about things obstructing communication, things about it's, it's, it wants to talk to you about why I think specifically things travel and communication for some of you guys travel um is is stalled so we have um this person who's very much in their emotions and there's a lot of inner conflict maybe outer conflict with them and uh so i think in this place that they are susceptible to talk they're susceptible to other people's ideas they're susceptible to um things that are feeding the conflict and it's making them miserable, okay? And those, the cards that um, are leading me to say this are King of Cups with the Conflict card or the Five 
of Wands. And then we have the Page of Swords out with the Sun in reverse. So this is what's going on around in the background. If you're experiencing delays and the lack of progress going forward in within a relationship um, of any sort, it doesn't have to be romantic, but if it, if there's these two characters that are coming out. This person who's practical and um, and then we've got somebody who has the ability to make themselves happy. There's a real independence with them. The Queen of Pentacles, the practical one, <laughs> they're getting the Nine of Cups too. Why? Why are we getting? I have a feeling that there's stubbornness attached. They... There's healing here. They need to feel valued. These, this Queen of Pentacles is somebody who, the way you show them value is sometimes in a very practical light. Supporting them, you know, and it could be in ter like they, they could appreciate a gift, but they can be... Um, they need to feel seen. They need that side of them to feel seen. They actually are quite nurturing. But they can feel like people take advantage of that. The Queen of Wands might be really focusing on male or female. It doesn't matter. Gender isn't attached. But this person who is um, very independent, they know that they they have a certain quality of how they like to treat themselves and um they they kind of need to be admired they need um what we have here i think are two individuals who need to feel seen in their unique ways and the when they don't feel that way they both turn and say okay well i'm gonna find value over here um, in the Queen of Wands case, it's okay. Well, I know how to lavish myself with gifts. Okay, I know how to I know how to take myself out to dinner. Okay, it's like that Miley Cyrus song, like I can buy myself flowers type of situation. Queen of Pentacles is like, okay, you know what? Somebody else is gonna find value. I see value in myself, and um, I'm I work hard for the things I have, and I know that I'm a, a really good caretaker, and um, and so. I'm going to get healing here. I'm going to throw myself into work or I'm going to throw myself into those who I can nurture and add value to. And I think that's who has stopped communicating. The eight of wands. And so this conflict that they're feeling around a lack of reciprocity is making them... Um, more susceptible to ideas and chitter chatter gossip any any of that type of stuff sometimes we go looking for our own gurus on youtube myself included this video but also um it's it's a time of open-mindedness that's why we go into these places because we're searching for guidance we're searching for so we all get to those places and what's happening is while they're searching for that, they are not communicating. Their energy has stopped. They, it's stalled and delayed. So I would like some advice, please. Sorry for the barking in the background. Advice for my Geminis, please. Advice. We have. The wheel turns. You're exactly where you, you're supposed to be in life right now. For whatever reason, in your, in your specific scenario, you're exactly where you're supposed to be. And the wheel is always a very positive message that it is going to bring in eventually new good things. It's a stroke of good luck. We have the Queen of Cups in reverse. It's important to look at what you're attached to and how much energy it's taking. We have the Queen of Cups reversed with the Eight of Cups reversed. This is holding on to something that 
you also want to let go of at the same time. The Ten of, of Wands is a burden that's ready to be put down. But you got to do what you got to do. You got to cross the T's, dot the I's. And so while you're doing this, though, it can be taking from you emotionally. And so know that you're exactly where you're at because it's it's the perfect time to be there. And that you're dotting those I's, you're crossing those tree T's. And while you're doing that, it's okay to start, start those new plans, to start letting your imagination go towards what you want to replace this energy with. Because we've got a Knight of Wands around the corner who wants to come forward. And Knight of Wands is very bold and charismatic and they have an offer. <laughs> they have a fiery, fiery, fun offer. So this is a process and uh, be kind to yourself during the process. And, you know, call a spade a spade, right? All right, I'm sending you off with good energy. And if you'd like for me to pray for you, of course, say hi. Like and subscribe if you saw value in this and I'll talk to you soon.